Hello! Today I'm going to make some turkey breakfast sausage and I'm going to start with three pounds of ground turkey. This is 94% lean so there's not a lot of fat in this and I'm going to mix this in the KitchenAid stand mixer using the dough hook. Now this recipe I got from a friend of mine named June and she has given me so many good recipe ideas for my videos but this one in particular she said use your KitchenAid mixer since she knew I just got it recently okay so let's put the dough hook on you might not think of using your mixer for making sausage we're going to turn these into sausage patties but I wanted to make some for breakfast in the morning so I thought I'd show you tonight how to get started on this we have three pounds of nice ground meat here and I'm just going to pour that into the mixer bowl and I'll put the mixer bowl right on to the, to the mixer and then the other ingredient this is so easy but I did have to send for this and I'll provide the link to you in my description this is a pack of seasoning and it comes from the company called Legs, L-E-G-G-S. And it's to make pork sausage, but I'm going to use turkey. This is called Blend Number 10. And it's a package for 25 pounds of meat. Well, I looked up the conversion for an 8 ounce package. One tablespoon per pound. So I'm going to put three tablespoons into this bowl with three pounds of ground turkey. Now the contents, I can smell it already since I opened that <laughs> plastic bag. It has salt, it has red pepper, it has sage, and a little sugar and black pepper. Now the red pepper is both ground and flakes, they say. This is the first time I'm trying it. Wow, is that nice. I want to show you some of this up close. I just kind of wanted to pour it out a little bit anyway to get a good mixture. All right, I can smell the sage and, oh boy, three tablespoons. One, two, three. All right, take care of that. You would not believe how good that smells. All right, let's clamp this mixer bowl down and turn it on. Start the dough hook. And it's just like mixing bread dough. You can see how it's flipping the meat around, allowing the spices to get mixed throughout the bowl. Nicely mixed. I'm going to use the baking sheet. And I'm going to form patties on this tray. You can also use the sausage stuffing equipment that you can buy as attachments for the KitchenAid. But right now, I'm going to use a scoop, like a ladle to get kind of uh, consistent size patties. I'm just going to take something like that size and press it out like a little hamburger. A regular old sausage patty. You can see that pepper flakes in there. And what I'm going to do with some of these is freeze them right on the cookie sheet and then I'll take them out of the freezer and seal them so they are protected in the freezer but a few of them I'm going to use for breakfast in the morning and I'm going to try one tonight too because I want to taste the seasoning now in June's recipe she had 
mentioned that you could add some olive oil. So I'll use a little olive oil to fry these, but I'm not going to put any more inside. Okay. Now that's how I'll sit a tray in the freezer, just until they become firm, and then I'll seal them away for another day. Okay, I'm going to heat up my Le Creuset cast iron pan. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil here. Just because they are very low fat. And while that's heating up, we're going to form a couple more little patties. I think that soup ladle is a nice size when making consistent sized breakfast patties. Breakfast sausage. And we're just about ready to add these to the pan. Sizzle right away. You could fry some of these ahead and also freeze them this way, too. Right, and you feel that they're getting brown on one side, flip them over. Just turn the heat down a little bit and just let them sizzle for a while. This old plantation seasoning was described by the company as southern style to use with pork sausage. So I'm sure making it turkey sausage changes that a little bit, but I wish you could smell that. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> All right, I think we're at the end of the cooking here. I'm just going to take the temperature in the middle of these patties to make sure what our temperature is. All right, we're up to 180 here, so we know that's safe temperature to eat these turkey patties. No problem, 190, okay. Alright, let's just flip them one more time while the pan is still hot for a little extra browning goodness. Alright, now who would think that you could make your turkey sausage for breakfast in the KitchenAid mixer? <laughs> Thanks June for the great idea. Let's take one of these out and taste it. Oh, look at this. Doesn't, doesn't that look nice and moist? I think this is a great idea using turkey for the breakfast sausage. Oh my gosh, what a wonderful flavor. Mmm, this is good. The seasonings in this, you won't believe you made it yourself. 
And look how easy. Two ingredients, right? If you love sausage and you want to reduce the fat, try this nice turkey sausage with the flavors that June recommended to me. <laughs> Get yourself a pack of this stuff. You'll use it for chili and hamburger and all kinds of things. It's a great seasoning. Alright, thanks for watching.